Alright, welcome back everybody to more Cuphead! We've beaten the DLC, but now... We gotta S-rank everything, and we also have to clear the Keen's Gauntlet. If we do that, we'll actually get the remaining achievements, and I'll have the Platinum for this game, which is... Mm. If there's any Steam game that I would love to have the Platinum ch uh, <laughs> all achievements for, it will be Cuphead, because it is one of my absolute favorite games of all time. And it's gonna be fun. It's a delicious last course. So, here we got uh, our main file. We got 200% in the main game, but only 76% in the DLC. That's the problem. We're gonna have to fix that. And we're gonna be playing as Cuphead this time, because Mugman got to shine when we played it casually. So we're here in Inkwell Hell. One other thing I did off, off screen was the Cursed Relic I have upgraded into the Divine Relic. So in order to upgrade this, you basically need to beat some bosses with the Cursed Relic. And each boss you get will kind of upgrade it a little bit. So the Divine Relic, or, or the Cursed Relic, after you beat the um, Angel and Devil fight, it basically sets your HP to 1 and makes it so that anytime you fire your weapon, it's a random weapon that comes out. So it can be tough to manage. But as you upgrade it, it gets better and better. Uh, and then once it's here at the Divine Relic, it still makes your random your weapons random, but your HP is not set to 1, it's set to the normal free, and you also get HP as you parry, which is really nice. You also have Smoke Bomb and Coffee and Whetstone combined all into it, so it's kind of overpowered. I'm not going to be using that, because I don't see me getting this for the speedruns, and uh, <laughs> I would like to actually develop a strategy that would work for speedruns. I also now know how to use Miss Chalice properly, so that'll be fun. And we will definitely be using her for the S ranks because, yeah, she's really, really good if you know how to use her properly. So first we gotta head over to the DLC aisle, and I guess I'll explain S ranks to people who don't know what that all entails. To get an S rank on a challenge on one of the bosses, uh, you need to beat them in a specific time. It's usually like 2 minutes 10 seconds. The time limit's usually not that big of a deal. You need to have at least free HP remaining at the end of the fight, which means that if you don't use any charms that boost your HP, you're not allowed to take damage, which is really tough. You gotta parry at least free objects in the battle, and you've gotta use at least six of your super cards against the enemies, so... It's a lot to keep track of. You also have to play on expert mode. Now that we have uh, beaten the game and we've beaten the uh, DLC bosses, we can play them on expert mode, where they have more HP and are faster, and some might have more moves. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. So first we're going to the King's Leap, because I want to do the King's Gauntlet, where you have to do all of these, uh, like, chess piece parry challenges back-to-back -back without healing between them. Because there's an achievement for that. Welcome back, my champions! My subjects remain at the ready for a spirited match. Who shall we challenge? We'll challenge the Gauntlet. Such bravery! Thou shall face all challengers in sequence! As long as I can get to the Rook without taking damage, I think we should be alright. Because some of these are pretty easy. That I wasn't going to stream the game on Expert Mode? I changed my mind. <laughs> Here's a real okay, so we're playing as Chalice because she's a lot better for these challenges. Because she just has to dash into the guys to parry them, which is a lot easier. So first we got the Pawns. Okay, that's bad. I hate it when they jump right on top of you. The pawns are usually some of the easier fights, so... Alright. So we took one damage against the pawns, which is not great. We gotta hope for a good rook and queen fight. The knight and the bishop are actually not too bad once you... The knight in particular I really struggled with. He's actually not too bad. Especially if you use chalice. You just gotta know his patterns. And know how many parries you can get for his different attacks. This is a great one, because you can get free parries. That one you can only get one, but it's also his easiest attack. Got to double jump over him here. Oh, great! This is not good. Oh, wait! Oh, we get fully healed between each one? Oh, that makes it a lot easier. Oh, never mind. This, uh, this shouldn't be too bad at all. I thought we had to do it all with the same HP. Oh, okay, no, this shouldn't be too too troublesome.
Well, the joke is he's a knight from chess, and the knight pieces are shaped like horses. Love the music. There we go! Oh man, yeah, if we get fully healed between the fights, this dish is perfectly doable. The bishop is honestly might be the easiest out of all of them. Just gotta watch out for his bells. I also like I like all of the chess shoutouts because yeah, the bishop, is his head is only moving on diagonals, which is exactly how they can move in chess. Alright, he's at 1 HP now. Goodbye. Alright, now we have the two hard fights. Mainly, the next one, the rook, is quite difficult. Here's a real high class battle. Those heads of Mary Antoinette. Miss Chalice is pretty good for this fight, though, because she can chain things together really easily with her dash parry. Oh, no. Stop chucking Sadoff so far away! <laughs> okay, I think one more hit and he's dead. No, oh, that's bad. Beating you was pretty straightforward. So now we got to go back to the pawns. The rook, there's just so much stuff on screen all at once. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is just... This is different from the S ranks. This is just doing the gauntlet of chess pieces. This is its own thing, and I'm doing it so I can get an achievement. Because one of the achievements for this game is complete the King's Gauntlet. This is not S rank. Because these are not bosses, per se. These are, like, min more mini-games than anything. The S ranks only apply to the bosses that you actually get graded on at the end. And let me tell you what, I am not looking forward to Chef Saltbaker S rank. Because if you thought he was hard on regular mode? On expert mode? Oh lord. There we go. I also got to get better at Chalice's dodge roll, which makes you completely invincible while you're doing it. Just beating him on S rank nor or beating him on expert normally is going to be tough, but the fact that we have to S rank him on top of that, oh yeah. I have seen him on expert mode, and it's it's basically the game saying how many projectiles can we put on screen? But the good news is, I think once we get past his first phase, I'm not going to say we're home clear, but it gets a lot easier after the first phase, when he throws all the food at you. Yeah, the rook is my least favorite fight, but the queen is no pushover either. 
Because you get, mainly because of the cannons that you have to aim properly. The rook is in love with the guillotine. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff, because you gotta keep track of what you're parrying. You gotta make sure you don't get hit by what you're parrying. You don't want to get hit by the sparks he's making, and you don't want to get hit by the skulls, either. Also, sometimes when you parry stuff, it doesn't go very far. Like there, I, I, I dash parried into it, but it didn't go anywhere. Uh-oh. Yes! Alright, last fight. It's the Queen. Okay, that was a good juggle. There! Alright! Nice! <laughs> hey, Huckleberry Huckster! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the stream where we are trying to S-rank the DLC. We just cleared the gauntlet! Yay! Wonder of wonders! You have ne'er witnessed such unmatched strength and endurance! I bestow it unto thee, the greatest gift of all! A king's admiration! <laughs> and we get the king's admiration achievement. How wonderful. <laughs> Alright, now the S ranking actually begins for real, and I think we're saving the chef for a last. That's for sure. Alright, let's start with Glumstone. I don't think he'll be too difficult. Let's use Roundabout for most of the fight, and then we can use Crack Shot for the end. We'll be playing as Miss Chalice, so we're using Super Art number 3, which is disgustingly good as Miss Chalice. Yeah, Glumstone the Giant, Gnome Way Out, Expert Mode. Let's see. I hope the gnomes aren't too much more difficult here. Because, man, they were annoying in the f normal one. Uh-oh. The geese. Oh, that's just not fair! <laughs> All of the platforms were moving up! <laughs> oh, the geese attack is gonna be the worst. Are you serious? At least getting all the parries in this fight is going to be not too bad. Alright! <laughs> Maybe this one won't be as easy as I thought. What's the giant been eating? You! Oh, I forgot about the gnomes at the bottom. That's gonna stink! I'm gonna have to dip down and hit the gnomes. Because I'm not dealing with them. Oh, great. That was... There was no way out of that one. Alright, here we go. Now the gnome should take a back seat. <laughs> Darn it. I need to get good at the dodge roll. It's just hard because you, you gotta hold down.
I don't know how to hold down. Okay, well, that was dumb. <laughs> Darn. All right. I thought he was going to be the easiest one to S-rank, but he actually might not be. The only two fights that I'm actually, like, confident in were this one and then the, uh, Moonshine mob. I am very scared for the chef and the dogfight. Although, I have discovered a secret. There's a secret phase in the dogfight, which means you don't have to deal with the uh, stupid gravity screw controls. Okay, if the geese come and the platform moves up, you're screwed. That's the worst. So I'm just, I'm going on the bottom if the geese come out. Oh my... Okay, the bear attack is a lot more dangerous. <laughs> Great. Maybe the spread shot would be good for this fight. Or something more rapid-fire than the roundabout, because, man, the gnomes at the bottom... They are annoying! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna... Hmm, maybe instead of crack shot, which I was planning for the final phase, maybe I want spread shot instead, or... or... Or Converge. Let's try Spread. I like the Spread Shot. It's one of my favorite weapons. Man, yeah, the, the giant is not a big deal. It's the freaking gnomes that are the real boss. Yikes. Okay. This is... This is gonna take a while. I love Super Art Number 3 as Miss Chalice. That's really good. Whoops. That was dumb. Ah, oh, sh- Darn it! The gnomes again, making life tough. This stuff is easy to parry as Miss Chalice. <laughs> All right, the first. Oh, I take that. He called the geese, but the geese didn't come. Oh, that was amazing.
Darn it. And remember, Miss Chalice can actually take a hit and still get the S rank. Cuphead and Mugman cannot. Imagine how much harder the fight would be if I was playing as them. <laughs> Uh, darn it. Yeesh. <laughs> hey, JP. How's it going? Uh oh. Man, I feel like if he does the geese move, you can just get unlucky and not really be able to get through it, no damage. Alright, now don't have a projectile spawn on me. Darn it. I sent you how many Sculptula tokens for you and you still think I'm mean? All of it I did for you. Oh no, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> the hardest boss for me, unquestionably, is... Darn it. The dodge roll does not parry stuff. For me, the hardest boss is definitely that stupid dog airplane boss who can mess with the gravity controls. And it's only because they mess with the gravity controls. <laughs> Roundabout is not being as reliable as I want for defeating those stupid gnomes. It's true, you do. It's not like this is really a surprise, like I always stream on Saturdays at this time. There, we got all the parries. Good. No! Ouch. No! I'm doggone it! I haven't even made it to the third phase. Okay, that was just stupid. <laughs> no, but I expect... I feel like people at least need to keep track of the time throughout the day. Yeah, like, sometimes the roundabout instantly kills the gnomes, but occasionally it just goes around it. Doggone it. Gnome way out is correct. And there are gnomes that hit you with hammers as well.
Darn it! <sighs> there are way too many gnomes on this level. I know it's expert mode and all that, but, like, come on now. Wow, platforms really screwed me up that time. This is just a pleasant romp in the mountains compared to what we're going to see with Chef Saltbaker. That is not the way I said to dash. Here's the Fane RS. It still might be. That's the problem. The bosses in this game are insane. Especially if you want to S... The gnomes are the freaking worst! Also, the platforms that just instantly disappear also stink. Am I just stupid, or are the platforms, like, rocketing me into this stuff? Um, there should have been half the amount of gnomes in this battle that there actually are. Oh my gosh, I... <sighs> starting to regret my decisions. Oh my gosh, the gnomes are the worst. Again, Glumstone himself is not terribly tough, but him with the gnomes together? Oh no. Why are there only two platforms left? Okay, I think we've only parried one Thane. But that's okay. I'm not worried about the parries for this fight, because the last phase you're going to get a bunch of them. <gasps> hey, Nadetto Attic, yes, we're playing with Miss Chalice, we're trying to get the S ranks. Doggone it! The... Is there any... I'm sh there must be a way of predicting where the ball is going to bounce. Like... Dude! <gasps> Nope. Nope, dog. As t by the time you see the platform is moving up, it's too late to duck down. You're gonna get hit by the freaking geese. This is why geese are the worst. Come on, come on. Jeez. You can take one hit and still get the S rank, yes. But if I get hit by something stupid at the very beginning, I'm going to reset. Because this battle is long and tough. I hate how the gnomes can just instantly spawn beneath you.
Death to all gnomes. No! Oh, that was just obnoxious. Okay, I think... I think I've got the ball bounced down now. Okay, cool, we're off to phase three. This is what I wanted. Oh no, doggone it. All right, have, <laughs> thanks to Geno Addict, have fun. All right, we at least made it to phase three, which is good. That was close. Wait, what? What did I get hit by? And spread shot didn't kill him, even though... Okay, sure. Oh, no, you don't. I feel like the gnomes with the hammer can just, like, appear and hit you. I know there's an animation of them climbing up the platform, but, like, with the 800 other things I need to keep track of, that's not really high on the priority list. Um, what hit me? <laughs> I feel like I've gotten hit by some phantom gnomes sometimes. Okay, we can get for the first phase consist pretty consistently now, so this is good. We're doing better. I did not expect the second phase to be this annoying, but... Okay, that's annoying. Yep, no, you don't. Doggone it! The gnomes again! Yes! Okay, we're getting for the first phase no damage pretty consistently now, which is great. 
Now we just gotta work on the second phase. I don't like this. I believe I got hit by nothing yet again. Feels like when I'm on the far left side, I just get hit by literally nothing. Either, like, the hitbox for his left shoulder extends very far to the right sometimes, or there are just gnomes that can appear out of nowhere on that side. Oh, that was the worst. It's not the worst. There's gonna be far worse fights today. How did you not- I pelted you with the spread shot and the roundabout. Okay, yeah, there is definitely an extended hitbox on that side. No! What the heck? That face also has a lot of HP. No, I'm not getting hit by something simple as that. I don't understand why I didn't parry that. It was at the same height as me. Okay, I literally got hit by nothing there. I was way above the gnome hats, and yet somehow they still hit me. How do they just always know where to blast? Oh, no, you don't. I saw that stupid gnome popping up there, so I wouldn't be able to use the one and only safe zone for the bear attack. on it. There, were there like five gnomes at the bottom all shooting fireballs? That's sure what it felt like. There's just so much to keep track of. 
You gotta keep track of the puppets and the ball and the gnomes on screen and the gnomes that are all spawning, as well as your character's position and like where you're shooting. I feel like this fight is it's just seems to be filled with areas where you can end up in unwinnable situations, where it's like, well, it doesn't really matter what you do, you're taking a hit. Are you not familiar with Cuphead, JP, and how brutally difficult it is? Especially if you're trying to S-rank stuff, and especially if it's your first time S-ranking stuff? I literally got hit by nothing yet again. Okay, yeah, stay away from the left side. The left side will literally just cause you to get hit, even though there's nothing there. Well, word of advice, you generally don't want to mess with me when I'm doing really hard challenges. I'm probably not going to take it very well. I'm hoping once I learn, like, the secret sauce for making this fight more doable, that it'll be a lot easier in the future. Okay, no, no, no. Ah, darn it. I keep forgetting, stay away from the left side. You will get hit. <laughs> That, that was on me. That was dumb of me. <laughs> Just rocketed into the other thing. <laughs> he does love starting with that goose attack. Oh. I... Why is it whenever I need the platform, it's like, oh, I'll disappear for you. Why is this so freaking difficult? This should not be that difficult. Is this just going to be a case of, like, the ones I had a really hard time with on regular mode are going to be easy, and the ones that I had an easy time with on regular mode are going to be impossible? I hope the Howling Aces are, uh, easy. <laughs> I would love that, but I don't think that's going to be the case. <laughs> alright, 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 Okay, cool. Full HP for the final phase. Here we go.
Um. Oh, that's how we're going to do it, eh? No! No, Doug. Okay, hang on. Okay, I need I need something better than roundabout and spread for that last phase. We're getting crack shot. We'll we'll have to deal with just the roundabout for the first few phases, but that's okay. Again, this is all I'm trying to think of this all as a learning experience of trying to figure out the best way of getting consistent S rank. See? <laughs> that was dumb of me. It's a process of illumination. <laughs> Don't you mean elimination? Rats. Wasn't... Forgot about the ball. That's fine. I don't mind if I die and it's my own fault, but if I get hit by stuff that's like, I didn't see a sprite there, that's really annoying. Like, all this stuff, this is just m me being dumb, so I'm, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh-oh. Why was that guy taking ages to pop out of the ground? Come on! I was I dashed immediately afterwards and I still got hit by it. Darn it. <laughs> the puppet show is being surprisingly annoying. I really hate it when the platforms just rocket into the ground right as I'm trying to jump on them. When there are sharp gnomes right underneath. Heavens are aligning perfectly to hit me a whole lot. One thing I could do is switch over to Super Art number two, which can give me an extra health point.
No! Stupid bouncy ball. It also despawned as soon as it hit me. That's really obnoxious. There's no way I'm one trying salt baker. No way. The gnomes are very unpredictable. So are th gnomes are unpredictable, platforms are unpredictable. Not a good combination. So, not right underneath me, nope. Doggone it! So much to keep track of on screen all at once. It's nuts. Nice try, you stupid gnome. I did not parry anything in that first phase, did I? Um, why did you chuck it that far? You weren't even that high up off the ground. This is very bad. Nice try. Darn you! Cool, alright. Off to the belly of the beast! This is where we have Crack Shot. Yes! Achievement unlocked, cooked to perfection. Yes, there we go. 1 minute 43 seconds, free HP left, free parries, 6 super meters, complete on expert. S rank. <laughs> Golly, a perfect score! 
At last! <laughs> that stupid giant was so annoying. Well, actually, the giant really wasn't. It was the freaking gnomes that were. Wonderful. And unfortunately, that was one of the ones I was confident in my abilities for, so... Oh boy, almost an hour on that guy. Next boss is going to be tougher. Alright. I think we'll keep with the Astral Cookie. I do really like Miss Chalice. Um, I think Crackshot will be good. As a secondary weapon, I think we want the Charger. But I'll take Crackshot as my main weapon. I really underestimated Crackshot. I didn't really use it in my casual playthrough, but man, it is by far the best of the new weapons. Mortimer Freeze and Snow Colt Scuffle. Expert mode, of course. Thankfully, we cannot fight the Angel and the Devil S rank. That's a special battle. All right. Thus far, it doesn't look a whole lot different from uh, regular mode. Maybe those guys are closer together. All right, there's a parry. Oh wow, we're already in the second phase. Cool. This is where we're busting out the charger. Okay, that's a lot closer together. Uh oh. Help. Still at full HP. Okay. That's annoying. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually going to keep going just because... I don't remember his third phase all that much. Okay, that's, uh... It's Aurora Boreal! <laughs> Over for you! That's one of my favorite death quotes. <laughs> okay, okay! Actually, this guy might not be as bad. That is a great time to use your super art. Okay. That is not a great time. Okay. You are crazy fast. Maybe I can dodge roll through that. Whoa, was not expecting you guys to just hop out of the ground instantly into me. Okay, well, if I'm cornered like that, there's not a whole lot I can do. Stay away from the corners, then. Okay, the, the direction that they go in seems to be random. Which is frustrating. Oh no, it's not random, it just always goes in the worst possible place on screen for you. I wish there was a way of telling whether he was going to jump or just roll normally.
That's not good. I think the hard part of this... I mean, no damaging this fight is definitely going to be tough. I think the one of the tough parts is going to be getting all the parries, because whether he throws parryable stuff at you seems totally random. Okay, that's one. So I actually really do have to keep mental track of how many parries I've gotten. So I've gotten one. Maybe I'll just keep using Crack Shot. No, I really like Charger. Alright, we've gotten all the parries we need, which is excellent. I mean, we're def- uh, duck on it. I still don't even know his last- How- It seems totally random whether he hops in the air when he rolls, or if he just rolls normally. Which is very frustrating, because you really don't have time to react. Okay, so these fiends- Okay, they split up into- Okay. The eyeball is not fun to deal with. <laughs> That's okay. We're still learning the fight. Even though I've already beaten it before. <laughs> I don't know. Out of all the DLC bosses, I think this guy was the most forgettable. At this point, I may as well just keep going. There's no way I'm going to S-rank him for any... in a reasonable amount of time, so... I may as well take advantage and just try to learn his phases. Thank goodness the hitboxes on those uh, swords are so small. Yikes. Okay, we kicked him into the final phase, apparently, damage-wise, at least. Darn it, I missed a parryable terror card. This boss definitely is the Ice King from Adventure Time. At least until he gets to this part. I think maybe you have to... Maybe it's by sound effect that whether he hops or not? That's the only thing that I can think of. Yeah, I think it's based on the sound effect. Oh man, this... Oof. Okay, so his first phase is not too bad. His second phase is pretty bad, and then I still don't know his third phase, so... Fun. Hmm. Crack shot, at the very least, is working very well against this guy. Maybe we put the charger down. So I'm going to make two changes. Uh, I'm going to go to Super Art 2, and instead of charger... Hmm. Let's go with the spread shot. I know they're kind of similar, but... I think spread would be helpful against the uh, little enemies that he makes. Actually, not nearly as much as I thought. Okay, never mind. Forget forget that. But honestly, there's not much better than the... Not Twist Up. Twist Up and Lob are both stink. There's no point in having Chaser and the uh, Crack Shot. P 
pea shooter is not very good, so it's going to be roundabout, converge, or charge. I haven't really used converge all that much. Oh, wow. This... this the Converge stinks even at the thing it's supposed to be good at, which is hitting a bunch of enemies in a row. <laughs> Forget it, Crackshot is just, like, the best. Popsicles getting in my way. Yeah, it is it is based on the sound effect, whether he hops or not. How is he not in his third phase yet? There we go. Oh, he is. That's... <laughs> that's how. I was about to say, that attack I can deal with, but with the rotating platforms, it, it, you do have to keep a close eye on things. Uh-oh. We do not want the screen to be flooded with those guys. Well, that was foolish. Back to the ghostly barrage. We're going back to Charger. Our initial setup. on you. You're the worst. Stop cornering me and hitting me with a whale shark. Those little ice mooks that he makes are a lot more durable than I feel like they should be, considering they are made out of snow and ice and not titanium. And the fact that he makes four of them at once and can spam them. Here we go. We have all of our parries. <gasps> Yikes, there that is such a tight window to get between those blades. That is such a tight window, man. At least the bosses are living up to their expert mode name. I don't know why I'm struggling so much, even with the easy parts. Why?! Why do I keep getting hit by this? There we go, at last.
All right. Okay, that green popsicle, man. I don't know how I dodged all that, but I'll take it. Okay, that move's not too bad. Okay, actually, no, that's pretty manageable. Come on, he's gotta be almost dead, right? Yeah! Alright! The, fa the final phase is actually not too hard. Woo! One minute, 32 seconds, free HP. Oh no, we didn't parry enough! So that's only going to be an A. Wait, we didn't parry enough? I thought we parried... Oh no, he didn't throw a tarot card at us, did we? Okay, but we've proven we can do it. So we just have to make sure we parry enough stuff. Okay, his second phase is definitely the tough part of the fight. Which is funny, because I used to think it was, like, the easy part of the fight. So this is going to be one of those fights like Sally's stage play, where the main tough part is just making sure he gives you all the parries that you need. Yikes. His hitbox here is kind of on the small side, which it means it's fairly easy to dodge him, but it also means it can be hard to snipe him down. Come on, give me a parryable tarot card. Never mind. So we have zero parries. Wait, this might mean that the spear I get at the end of my third super does not count as a parry. Stupid... Those popsicles, man! They keep getting in the way! Like, it's actually insane how much the popsicles have been getting in the way. No, I did not dash that direction. Oh, he keeps throwing the ice cube in the middle of the... Oh, he's good. Thank you. So that's one parry down. Whoa, where did all the ice cubes come from? All of a sudden, there was like, the ice cubes were taking up the entire screen. Yikes! Where does he? Where does he keep pulling the whale sharks out of? I also need to remember Miss Chalice has the dodge roll that's invincible. No! Don't make the parryable tarot card at the opposite end of the screen while there's a bunch of mooks in the way. 
That's not fair. <laughs> There we go. I mean, I'm almost certainly not going to S rank it if I took a hit in the first phase, but... Okay. I swear, anytime he does the blade move, there's a freaking popsicle that comes in the and gets in your way and makes it so you like have to take a hit. Like that happens ninety percent of the time, and it's super annoying. New law, if I get hit in the first phase, it's an instant reset. Because his first phase is by far the easiest. There's... Oh my gosh. If you're facing the wrong direction, you're just... You can't turn around. If you turn around, you will actually move too much. And you... How much HP do these stupid icicles have? Like, sometimes they die in two hits, and sometimes they die in, like, eight. That was actually on the risky side, because Mortimer could have easily damaged me by me running into him. Okay. What did I get hit by? Alright, we still need one more parry. No! Freaking gosh darn popsicle ice cubes! Charger's really oh, off it. Charger is really good. Why does why does every level have to have some stupid annoying gimmick? Except the bootlicker boogie. That level is perfect. <laughs> Although my mind might get changed on that as I try to S rank it. All right, that went well. Oh shoot, I should have parried him first. The fact that you have zero invincibility frames after your super art is very, very annoying. Like, why does every boss have, like, I throw out a bunch of little guys that will screw you up? Actually, even the Moonshine mob has that. 
But at least the Moonshine Mommies guys die in like one hit instead of eight. I just, I feel like there's nowhere safe to land, because there's either a popsicle or an ice cube in the way. How is it he just knows? He always knows where if he does that move, I can't possibly dodge it. No, again, it made me dash in the wrong direction. I was holding right, and it's like, dash to the left, you got it. Dash away from, like, one of two parryable things in this fight, you got it, chief. At least there are no ice physics. And to be honest, I am very surprised they didn't put ice physics on this level, just because that seems like the sadistic thing they would do. Nope. Nope. Dog. How about as a rule you shouldn't be allowed to summon more guys onto the field if there are already still guys from the last time you summoned guys still on the field? That seems like it would be a reasonable rule, but Mortimer Freeze don't play by no rules. What do you mean, what kind of- what do you mean, what kind of ice physics? There's only one kind of ice physics. You slip around on the ground. I literally touched nothing there. Man, that whale shark gets bigger every time he la launches it. It feels like the game is just reading my mind what I'm about to do and making sure to throw an enemy there. Because I swear no matter what I do, there always is an enemy right where I land. Because I'm trying to anticipate where they could possibly... Right, zero parries. Great. So I gotta parry a bunch of popsicles. Okay, I need one more parry, but we should be able to get it in the final phase. Darn it. And I shudder to think how difficult this fight would be if you were playing as Cuphead and or Mugman. You can't... You should not be able to summon six guys on the field at once. I wasn't even touching left on the stick there, but it made me move left. Great. 
we're having those kinds of issues today. Oh, no, you don't. I don't know if this is just ridiculously intelligent AI and that it, like, can just predict where you're going to be, but it really feels like they always are able to predict accurately where I'm going to be and make things terrible as a result. Alright, cool. We got one parry in the first phase. We're still at full HP. Wait, shoot, if he does the freaking sword attack. This... I don't understand why sometimes my character just won't move to the right when I'm aiming up. I'm probably just playing sloppily, but... Man, it feels like I'm not issuing commands on the controller, but it's doing things that I'm telling it not to. No, 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 no! Oof. Oh, you butt! You were trying to summon eight guys on the screen all at once. Still need free parries. Uh oh, no, 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 no. No, I'll doggone it. Having to dodge the swords. And the freaking popsicle at the same time. It's the worst. Oh, well that was lucky. It's about time I had some good luck for a change. Beast can now dodge his, like, jump and roll attacks pretty consistently. It also does not help that he's just refusing to throw parryable popsicles at me. So now I have to hope for two parries in this final phase. Darn it! I thought I was at the same height as that. I was certain his final phase was going to be the toughest. It's the, it's all at this point it's almost the easiest. His last phase actually might be the easiest, it's just the one I have the least practice with. But, like, I have so much practice with his first phase, and he's still killing me with it constantly. Cool. One parry? Oh, darn it. Different sound effect. 
Good lord. Thus far, neither of the fights that I have encountered have been fun to S-rank, which is a shame. Because a huge amount of the base game, the bosses are genuinely fun to S-rank. This is not one of them. And I repeat, I even have an extra point of HP to play around with. Normally when you S-rank, you're not allowed to take damage at all. And it's still this difficult. How did that not scare the other guy? I don't... Alright, zero parries in the second phase, that's great. Well, there was just no way out of that. <laughs> there was nowhere safe on the ground or in the air. How did I take damage after he'd already landed in the ground? I swear there's just no room to maneuver sometimes. Like right there. He was at the top of the screen, the card was in the middle, and his stupid guys were at the bottom. What was I supposed to do? No matter what I did, I would have been screwed. Why did they move to the left? I was on the right side of him. Like I said, it's like he just can read my mind and know where I'm going to be. Cool. Two parries in the first phase. That's really, really good. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He did the one move that would have hit me at the end of my invincibility. No! Oh! It's... Mm. The blade attack, I think, is kind of unfair. You basically need to be pixel perfect in order to not get hit by the blades. And you have to deal with popsicles from the sky as well. Alright, zero parries. First phase is over. Good lord. He just, he never ever stops at anything. Say my imagination, or is Miss Chalice more slippery on the ground than the other? Because I, it's really hard to, I, like there, I swear I wasn't pushing to the right, but it made me move into it. I also want to point out, if anyone thinks this looks way easier than I'm making out, no, it's not. <laughs> You have to be so incredibly precise on your controls. Even a tiniest bit on the, of the stick in the wrong direction and you will go too far and hit something. It's also annoying because I, I should have S-ranked him. I got free parries, but apparently the fame that you create from your super art 
doesn't count as a parryable object, even though it is a parryable object. <gasps> Darn you! That was a parryable object, and I didn't parry it because the dodge roll for some reason doesn't parry even though the dash does. Darn you! He always pulls out the worst move that would get me hit in any situation. So, I didn't get hit when I was in the air, but I got hit when I was lower. I don't. I give up. This boss has no rhyme or reason to him. Okay, I didn't even move left. My gosh, this guy is a toothpick when it comes to his hitbox. No! I hate bosses that are extremely random with their parries, parryable objects. blasted it right at him, and it's just like, nope. His hitbox is like literally a pixel. What? He- there was nobody there! Okay. Yes. That's what we gotta do. Uh. Uh. No! The freaking green popsicle! If I... Well, hang on. Maybe... I wanna try something. During the sword attack, if a popsicle is flying in the air... Can we just duck to avoid both? I thought you couldn't, but maybe you can. Um, I definitely hopped over them. Gnomes are worse. At least the popsicles can occasionally give you parries. Also, the popsicles are only during one phase of this battle, and the gnomes were in, like, basically every phase. Ow! Duck gun! Uh oh, nope! This is where, uh... This is where a smoke bomb would be nice. Because smoke bomb, you can... Chalice has the invincible dash, but it only works on the ground. Whereas smoke bomb works in midair as well. For once, I'm grateful for his tiny hitboxes.
Already? Wow, alright, so we need two parries in his last... We're at this last phase with full HP. I'm holding off on the attacks until I can get the parries we need. Alright! We can get the last parry in the time limit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Die already. Come on, there's no way you have this much HP. I killed you so quickly last time. There we go! Now we just gotta hope we did it within the time limit. Okay, good. Free, free, six. Yes! Take that, Mortimer Freeze. Good law, that was annoying. And unfortunately, we're now at what I believe is going to be the most annoying fight. We're at the flying aces in the dog on dog fight. However, the main annoyance of this, the thing that made this the toughest and most stupid fight in the whole game was the gravity screw at the end. There's actually a secret in this uh, fight where you can get a different final phase with no gravity screw, and we are absolutely doing that. So, we are absolutely having Charger as our main weapon. As our secondary weapon, I think we're going with Crack Shot. It's just very good. Uh, do we want Miss Chalice? I think we want Miss Chalice. Yeah, let's try Miss Chalice for this one. Actually, hang on. As our secondary weapon, we need a weapon... I actually, I'm gonna go with Pea Shooter. I never pick Pea Shooter, but for the sake of... Actually, no. Let's have Crack Shot as our main weapon, not Charger. Not Charger. We need a weapon that we can deal a very specific amount of damage in order to get the secret phase. Dog on dog fight. More into that once we initiate the fight, but. So it seems like the main difference is that the dogs are throwing the tennis balls more often. Alright, so thus far, this is pretty much the same as on standard mode. Ouch. Okay, he's got a lot of HP. Either that or the crack shot just does not deal nearly as much damage. Alright. Here's where we wanted the pea shooter for. So to get the secret phase, we need to bring all of these guys down to really low HP without killing any of them. And you'll know they're at really low HP when they start making... Okay, Pea Shooter is not the best weapon for this at all. Affirm, Roger Fox! Affirm, Roger Fox! We barely dealt any damage to them at all. Okay, nope. Not Pea Shooter. Definitely not Pea Shooter. You can barely hit people with that. Okay, let's go Charger as our main weapon and Crack Shot as our second weapon. We can't kill any of the little dogs, we just need to get them all down to really low HP at the same time. Okay, we may as well... I don't even know what the secret phase is going to be, so... We're gonna need to learn that, regardless. Alright. Okay, that's a problem. So we still can't... we can't hit them with two, char two full chargers. Okay. One full charge and two mini and two no charges. 
are enough to bring them down to low HP, though. I also still think it's dumb that, like, the airplane boss is not a boss where you fight in an airplane. Really? I have a feeling that's gonna happen a lot during this fight. Uh, what did I get hit by? Okay. That's going to be rough. Dog pun intended. Oh, that was a waste of a super art. That's actually very bad. We don't want... No, don't destroy them. Don't destroy them. It's also going to be rough getting this within the time limit if we have to perfectly get all of their HP down to low. Doggone it. I do. I'm trying to get the alternate control scheme for the... I'm trying to get the secret phase. Most of this time, the secret phases... Because there are ma many bosses with the secret phases, but most of them are... Hard to initiate, and the, the resulting secret phase is generally harder than doing it normally. But I'm sorry, if I can avoid having my controls messed with, I that's then I'm doing it. How did I not hit the freaking fire hydrant? Wait. You can pick relative or absolute movement when the screen rotates? Wait, what? Is that if you do R controls A or B? So you can literally just bypass the gimmick entirely? Wait, are you serious? So you can just turn off the boss's gimmick and be like, I don't want to deal with it. Why would they even put the stupid gimmick in the game to begin with, then? Oh, so then they're actually going to end up being really easy. It wasn't the press right to go left that bothered me. I'm actually not... I'm totally fine with that. It was when it was sideways and it's like, you push down to go left. That completely breaks my brain and I cannot deal with that.
Oh shoot, wait, I need parries. Okay. Oh shoot. Oh wait, Miss Chalice is actually going to be bad for this fight. Okay, it'll take some getting used to, but no, that's way better. Why would anybody not want this? Why would anybody want Control Scheme A? Why would anybody ever want the default option? I'm surprised that didn't end the phase. I refuse to believe there's anybody in the world who actually would try to convince people that Type A is a better option, genuinely. I mean, the fight is still definitely obnoxious, but a lot less so. Now it just has one annoying gimmick to deal with. Now we just have to deal with the stupid plane. That is not even possible to deal with with Miss Chalice. She literally can't parry that. So am I, am I going to have to play as Cuphead slash Mugman for this battle? I thought if I was in the middle of dashing when it appeared, I would parry it, but it didn't seem like that worked. There we go. I was gonna say. If I change characters, would it delete S ranks? No. It doesn't care who you play as. Yeah, I don't think I can use Miss Chalice for this, so if I can't use Miss Chalice... Hmm. <laughs> we got some options. I'm not using the Divine Relic. Uh, I feel like... No, Smoke Bomb's not that great for this fight. I think I might go either Heart Charm or Twin Heart. Or Pea Sugar. No, not Pea Sugar. Let's try the Heart Charm. Heart Charm gives me an extra H one health. It lowers my attack power by a little bit, but not by a lot. Oh shoot, I have the wrong super art for Cuphead. Wow, it just... it wouldn't let me duck at all.
Just stay centered, bro. Uh oh. Oh, I hate that setup. Okay, this is still weird. Oh, I hate the laser setups. I, yeah, I turned the Cursed Relic into the Divine Relic off-screen. It actually was really easy to do if you just played the easy bosses. I forgot. We need a different superpower. Because superpower free with Cuphead is not very good. I mean, it is if you are if you can maneuver it properly, but I can't, so it's bad. Missed the plane. Okay, this is terrible. I don't mind the, the random weapon thing, honestly. The reason I'm not using it is because... I want to have... Well, depending on how things go, I might want to try speedrunning all S ranks. And there's no way I'd be getting the Divine Relic in a speedrun. But judging how these battles are going, that may not actually happen. All right, have have a nice lunch. Oh, how did that miss? Oh, how did that miss? Curses. This is not a great slam. This fight is still hot garbage. <laughs> Because the plane is a huge pain in the butt to control. Thanks for ducking when I told you to. Wow! Will you kill the fire hydrant already? Good lord! classic no-win situations. I seem to end up in those an awful lot when I play this game. Oh my gosh. Why is it just freaking impossible? to hit the fire hydrants with the charger. I hate this phase still, because the plane keeps screwing you over. Also, 
for some reason, it will not let me aim at the person, even with these absolute controls. I'm holding left on the stick, and it's ma still making me move up. I think no matter what you do, this fight is just the absolute worst. And some people have the nerve to say this is one of the better fights in the DLC. Like, I don't want to say that they're wrong, but they are just flat out objectively wrong on that. <laughs> Also, no matter how many times I play this game, I cannot parry stuff that is directly above me. Speedrunners are able to just, like, jump and instantaneously parry. It, no matter how much I practice, that will never work for my copy of the game. If I jump and instantly parry at the same time, nope, I still get hit by the feint above me. Same if there's stuff directly below me, which is why I rely on pea sugar so much. I... Meh. Thus far, we're 0 for 3 for good S ranks. Can't believe I'm saying this, but the airplane battle, like the one where you're in the airplane, will you please destroy the fire hydrants? That actually might end up being one of the better uh, S rank battles against Esther Winchester. No! Freaking ah! You betrayed me again, Perry Ricochet. I dream of a fight where the airplane would freaking stand still. You can't make the airplane stand still. Even if you're directly in the center, he still just moves where he wants to go. It's so dumb and very frustrating. Especially in that second phase where you really just want the freaking plane to stay in the center, but he will not. Right here, he keeps moving to the right. Move into the center and stay there. There we go. Oh good, we have invulnerability for this phase. No, dark on you. All right. 
This fight, if you need invulnerability for that last phase. Like, you need it. I hate it when the freaking tennis balls land on you as you are forced to duck under that attack. Which happens about 50% of the time. Gotta love it when you just can't freaking hit the fire hydrant even when it's two inches in front of you. I don't know why I didn't parry the letter. I was literally on top of it while pushing the A button. Love to have parried that, but no. I swear the lasers change their trajectory just to hit you. Ah! Oh, that's not fair. If you've got a red dish and a yellow dish coming at you at the same time, how are you supposed to get through that without smoke bomb? You're not. You were supposed to pick snow with smoke bomb. <laughs> It is also very dumb how Miss Chalice can't even get past the laser phase, because her parry just doesn't work. Whoa! Okay, I don't know why I tried to jump over that, but that was a mistake. Darn it. I swear, if, if the plane would just stay in the center of the screen, that phase would be so easy. duck when I tell you to duck. Gotta master the lasers. D 
darn you! If yeah, the plane's on the wrong side of the screen, you are you are done. You are freaking done if the plane is on the wrong side of the screen. And it sure would be nice if the plane would actually move where you wanted it to go. That was the wrong button. Look at that! As soon as the second, as soon as this phase begins, he in him the stupid guy flying the plane instantly rockets it to one side, even if you're not even on the side that he's rocketing towards. All right, at least we're back up. Like, look at that! If the plane was on the left side of the screen, there's nowhere you can go. There's a tiny little place, but if you duck down there, your stupid plane driver will be like, I'll drive you right into the lasers! I said switch weapon, not dash into the boss. Stupid game. Nope. If I take damage in the first phase, it's a reset. No! How did that not... Again, can't believe I'm saying this, but I would have preferred an actual traditional airplane fight. Even though I generally don't like the airplane fights. <laughs> Fly the plane straight. Dude, fly the plane straight! This is literally that meme of, like, you had one job. This guy's one and only job is to fly the plane properly, and he does the worst job in the world. Like, he is going out of his way to fly the plane right into the attacks.
There we go. Yeah, I I fail to see how you can get past that if you just get a bad combination of dishes. Which is bad because there are literally only two dishes for it they can throw. New plan, we're holding on to an invulnerability for that last phase. Nope. Oh. Okay, that was dumb on my part. Dog? I hate... I hate the plane so much. I hate the plane so much! It has some of the worst controls. It's like, oh, if you're on the left side of the plane, he'll fly to the right, or he'll fly to the left. If you're on the right side of the plane, he'll fly to the right. It's like, yes, but also no. He also just has a mind of his own and flies wherever he doggone wants to. And very rarely is where he wants to go where you actually should be going. Freaking plane, man! The freaking plane! At least we can save the bootlegger boogie for last, because, uh, that's the best one. Literally no part of this fight is fun, which is really terrible. I miss I mistook the freak I keep pushing the dash button when I want to push the super art button. It's my own fault. Can't blame the terrible airplane controls on that one.
How did I... How is he still not out of HP? I hit him so many times. Uh, why didn't that work? I've jumped through between those two so many times, I don't know why that time it just decided no. Stuff. Tennis balls, bones, fire hydrants, tiny platform, balls of yarn. Feels like my guy is moving slower as the fight goes on, because I swear I should have sidestepped that tennis ball. Probably just suffering from hours of cuphead in a row syndrome. Move the airplane out of the corner, please. Way to move the airplane out of the corner as slowly as you possibly could, even when I was standing on the tip of the wing. You are the worst pilot in the world. I think I would rather have Goofy in the pilot seat. At least Goofy is intelligent. And I'm not even saying that as a joke. In Kingdom Hearts, Goofy is seriously the most intelligent character in the game. In the series. <laughs> the fire hydrants have some magical property, because I was literally right there, shot directly at them. They have one HP, and it didn't blow up. Full HP, and a full invincibility plan for this phase. Okay. We have an invincibility plan for this phase. I... You can't dodge the freaking lasers. You could dodge the lasers if you could control the airplane, but you can't freaking control the airplane. Not to the extent that you need in order to dodge stuff. I can't believe that the pilot of this airplane is the guy who, like, taught us how to fly. We are way better flyers than he is. Come on, man!
plane flew right into the lasers. When I was in the middle of the plane. I freaking hate this level so much. This is by far the worst level in Cuphead. You literally need to have perfect control of the plane, and you can't. It's physically not possible to perfectly control the plane. This fight is such trash. Should I equip the Twin Heart? How come I didn't parry that? I literally parried it. I landed right on it and pressed the A button. Nice try, you stupid airplane. Stay here. Yes, 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 die! Oh, please tell me I got everything. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, Lord, that fight sucks. The S stands for sucks. Alright, that's hopefully the worst of it over. Now, I can't believe it, but I actually feel like this next fight won't be nearly as difficult, even though I really struggled with this first time. Esther Winchester High Noon Hoopla. Airplane fight, but at least here I know what to expect, and there's no unfair mechanics. It also has one of the best songs in the game. Okay, there's a lot happening. I forgot about the dynamite. All right, that's a lot to keep track of. Expert mode definitely living up to its name. All right. This is going to be tough. The first phase is crazy. There's like four phases going on all at the same time. Darn it. So I missed the first parry. Oh, great. So it's not even regular, it's random parries. That's awful. 
I feel like this is too much stuff. This is literally four fiends on screen at the same time. <laughs> if it was free, it would have been manageable, but alright. Alright, this phase is a lot more hectic, but... It's manageable. Alright, we got all three parries at least. So now it's the sausage phase. So we gotta watch out for the stakes. Oh man, this is really fast. Oh darn it, we got hit by the sausage link. I wanna see what our la if our last phase is crazy as well. Oh man, the freaking sausages! I forgot about those. Oh, we were almost at the last phase. The sausages are gonna be tough. Getting the parries is also gonna be tough. No parries! That guy shot a bunch of stuff and not even a single parry. Wow, he shot four spike balls and not one of them was parryable. What a crud butt. There we go. This is still miles more fun than the last few fights, though. Only one parry thus far, though. I really could use... There we go. I, was gonna say, I could use some pink dollars right now. Hurrah! Okay, wow. Those sausages kept popping out in the wrong direction. Okay, thankfully the snake oil she shoots, you don't really need to keep a close eye on, because it should all shoot around you unless you get too close. Because, of course, we can't have it too easy now, can we? Ouch! Hit me with the coin! This is basically the fight of how Clarabelle Cow became a outlaw. I really wish there was a pattern of which spike balls that the cow that the horse flies shoot would be. Uh, I wish there was some kind of pattern in that, similar to how there is a pattern for the parryable bullets in the Hildeberg fight. Here it seems like it's just like a one in four chance or something.
Darn you! You never shoot parryable objects when I want you to. Right around the snake oil. Yikes. Okay, that's embarrassing. Yeehaw! Since Mortimer Freeze, I'm now so paranoid about getting all the parries that I need. This for It seems like every phase of this battle is crazy hectic and it just never lets up. But it's okay. This is st this is a very tough but a very fair fight. Nothing here is like being just like, well, that's just not fair. There might be some stuff that I personally would have implemented differently. Darn you. Like, I would not have made it so you have to keep track of four fiends all at once. Actually, five fiends, because you always have to keep track of your own plane as well. At least this song is a freaking bop. I've always said that great music can make an infuriating fight a lot more bearable. A lot more bearable. Oh, woo. Thank you. One of these days, I will escape the first phase unscathed. Like, I always take a hit in the first phase. Oh, shoot. Okay, that was dumb of me. For some reason, I thought I wouldn't get hit there as long as the cactus wasn't on screen. That's not how that works. This is also... Oh, come on. Second phase is a lot more hectic than it was on regular mode. Regular mode, like, I rarely ever took a hit in the second phase. But now there's, like, twice as much stuff going on. This is also an airplane fight that I think Miss Chalice would not be good for. At least not for the first phase.
Still not as unfair as Jimmy the Great's treasure move. Jimmy the Great's treasure move is literally just like, oh yeah, you can't dodge this sometimes. Alright, I think we only have one parry, though, so... I know there are parryable chili peppers in the final phase. I gotta hope there's a good amount of those. As well as some parryable steak. Come on, a parryable steak. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. It's the canned prairie dogs. There we go. Oh, darn it. Okay, the last phase doesn't seem like it's that much more difficult than it was on regular mode. Maybe a little bit faster, but not too bad. Maybe some more chili peppers, but not too bad. Darn it, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I just realized that her vacuum cleaner has teeth and a ton at that part. It's kind of crazy. I gotta hand it to them. This fight is really good. Like, definitely really tough. But it's the good kind of tough. This is the kind of tough that I could master with enough practice. It's kind of it reminds me a little bit of the Wally Warbles fight, but Wally Warbles is actually unfair in the last phase. Darn you. Wait, oh shoot. I didn't have my super art yet. But I do now. Darn it. If I'm right next to her at that part, I should probably shrink to go back. Mm. There is stuff to parry in every single phase, so I shouldn't have to worry about the horse flies in the first phase. Like, if I'm in a position where I can, like, react to the... If I'm in a position where I can accurately react to the horse fly like right here, I'll let him shoot, and if I parry, then great. But if there's a lot of stuff happening and I can shoot him down, that might be what it might be best to shoot him down. Like right there, because the guy with the dynamite was coming up. <laughs> oh, thank you for the prairie. More like the prairie. Man, okay, that third phase is so fast-paced. 
you got like a fraction of a second to react to like which direction those sausages are going to be in. Yikes! I'm scared! <laughs> oh gosh, I'm scared! Oh darn it. Darn it, she hit me at the stake right off the bat. <laughs> nah. Wow, already? Alright, I mean, I'll take it. No! My money! No! I But I parried it! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm annoyed by that. I literally was inside of it and hit the parry button and it didn't do anything. Darn it. Ugh. Gotta really watch out for the parryable steak, then. It's the latest gourmet steak. The parryable steak. You wouldn't believe how pink it is. No! Parryable steak right off the bat. That is less good. Like, the thing about Esther Winchester, none of the elements are that hard by itself, but because they're combined, like, five all at once, it makes it crazy hectic. That's fine. I really, I actually really like this fight. Definitely one of my favorite plane fights. It's like this and Wally Warbles are my two favorites. No! Why does it... My parries have not been working for the last little bit. I really need to stop being so greedy. I, I keep being like, I have to keep constantly attacking her. Like, I can shrink to avoid attacks every so often. Like, that's not a big deal. And once again, my parry just didn't work. Darn it.
There we go. That was a great first phase. Sticking to the very back seems to be quite helpful in a lot of cases for avoiding the uh, horseflies attacks. Why did my parry not... Okay, in this phase, my parry just doesn't work. I literally parried right into that stack of pink dollars and nothing. So now I still have to parry two more veins. Darn you stupid sausages. I've only made it to the final phase once. It's nuts. Okay, yeah, staying to the far left in the first stage, in the first uh, phase, seems to work out pretty well. That way you can just either parry that or sidestep it. Whoop! Oh, I lost track of the dynamite. Well, thus far, pretty much every single boss has taken me around an hour. I'm already going in anticipating Salt Baker is going to be the toughest one. Wow, there was like, <laughs> there was nowhere to move there. Should have shot down the horse fly. I hate being trapped at the bottom of the screen. And the top of the screen. I just hate being trapped in parts of the screen. Okay. Alright, let's see if the parry will finally work in this phase. Thank you! Alright, 4 HP for the sausage phase, this is good. Next one should be parryable, right? Nope. Okay, surely this one will be parryable, right? Beautiful. Okay, that was unfortunate. Okay. No! Lost track, darn it. That was on me. But this this is absolutely the kind of fight that I like to S rank. Once I figured out exactly where like a lot of the space safe spaces are for this fight. It should become a lot more consistent and make it a lot more speedrun friendly. This, this is a slow start, but that's okay. I don't anticipate this will be one of those fights where it's like, oh, you're going to run out of time. The time limit is very rarely an issue on boss fights for the S rank. Once it, Yeah, sometimes the parry just does not work in that second phase. Oh, 
Darn it. So no parries thus far. There we go, we got a pair. Nope. Stupid lasso. We're at least at the halfway point. We've S ranked half the bosses. Oh. He only ever shoots. He never shoots the parry logic. I want him to, though. Ah, that was too much stuff! Why did the snake oil go lower? That was weird. Beautiful. I love it when that happens. This is beautiful. Two parries already. Oh man. I hate it when it's the individual coins that are parryable because they're so small. I cannot believe I navigated for all that meat. <sighs> Why are the sausages always in the wrong places? I didn't realize the psalm eventually became a yodeling psalm. No! Stupid sausages! And I repeat, I am using the charm that lets me take a hit, so nor under normal circumstances, this S rank would be even harder. If this wasn't such a long fight, I would go Twin Heart. But the Twin Heart lowers your attack power kinda drastically. Which means if you're on a, a fight that's on the lone side, that's one of the rare situations where you could turn on you, where you could end up not making it in the time limit. Oh darn it, I took my eyes off of the dynamite for half a second, and that's when the, that's all the time the dynamite needed to hit me. Darn it. Can I leave the first phase without taking damage? Are there more than four? What? There are six bosses to S rank in the DLC. And we've already S ranked three of them.
Man, why is this guy such a... Why are those freaking horseflies so stingy with the parryable object? It is definitely not a 50% chance for this stuff to be parryable. <laughs> no chance, no way. It's more like 1 in 5. <laughs> I powed the. I don't know how I avoided all that dynamite, but I, then I immediately got hit by the snake oil. He always, he always shoots the parryable object when I'm in a position where I can't really parry it. Shoot. I mean, if you're counting every single one of the chessboard fights, then it would be in the double digits. But those are not true bosses. You don't get ranked on those. Darn it! I... Stupid dollar bills. Doesn't even make sense why these are dealing damage. Oh no, I forget. If you're on the left side of the screen of that part, the stakes will double back and hit you. It was a little too late on the parry for that one. Sorry, partner. My parry didn't work again! No! Come on, game! Well, that was a bad situation to be in. Okay, there was basically nowhere safe on this screen. Dynamite was blowing up the left side and the snake oil was on the left, or right. Oh, thank you, small hitboxes. I'm not sure if that hit Esther or not. I think it did. <laughs> Ooh. 
No! The stakes are moving very unpredictably. She's shooting them at the bottom, but they're reaching me all the way at the top. This is one hoot nanny you're not gonna win forever. Oh, okay. I moved right into that. <laughs> so sure enough, I think the easiest boss thus far to S-rank has indeed been Glumstone the Giant. At least the animation in this game is amazing. That's what I'm talking about. Get me those big bucks. The big parry bucks. I know. There are very few bosses that are easy to S rank. It's like, out of the bosses that are easy to S-rank, that would be like, okay, Goopy, Legrande, and the Root Pack. No! I get damaged by the parable stake. Oh, what? I got hit by the sausage still? Oh, heck no. I thought I squeezed between the gap. Yuck, yuck. Great. Wow, you entered the vacuum phase early. Esther Winchester, you are under arrest. Boom! No! Oh, I hate it when the gap moves too far off screen for you to squeeze through. Darn you! I have no idea how I made it past all that dynamite shrapnel, but I'll take it. Any act of kindness the game gives me, I will accept no questions asked. <laughs>
Next one's got to be parryable, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Seems like every four stakes is going to be parryable. Sometimes more than that, but no less than that. All right, max HP at the final phase. This bodes pretty well. The sheriff of, of Ca Cactus Valley, you are under arrest, Esther Winchester. <laughs> okay, that one was actually really fun to S-rank. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, and I'm also looking forward to this one. This was always my favorite of the DLC bosses. So, for this, we are going to be playing as Miss Chalice. We want Super Art number 3. Um, I think we want Charger and maybe Spread? Converge could also be decent. Let's try let's try Charge and Spread for Moonshine Mob in Bootlegger Boogie. This one was really fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A single jump will not get me up to the next level as Miss Chalice. Hey, what are you gonna do about? Okay, yeah. This one's gonna be fun. Hey there, baby! Alright! I hope this doesn't come back to bite me! Alright, so he's gone now. Alright, second phase is not too bad. This is where things are gonna get tough. We still do need an extra parry, though, so we will have to parry his ton. Ouch. Okay, let's try to get all three parries. Or actually, no, we don't, because the absolute final phase can also give us some stuff to parry. I was about to say, when is he going to call his friends? Ow. 
Ouch, that was embarrassing. Okay, this one should be a lot easier than the others. Makes sense, since I think that this is supposed to be the first boss you do in the new aisle. That was risky. Ah, oh, that was a waste of a super. Ow, no, the police officer got in my way. I'm on your side! I'm also trying to take out the Moonshine mob. <laughs> Although, they're trying to do it for Law and Order, I'm trying to do it to get a lump of dough. And for the glory, of course. Can't forget about the glory. You moved a lot farther than I thought you would before making that phone call. No! The mead got in the way. <laughs> oh yeah, Miss Chalice makes this fight a lot easier. Ouch. Oh, no, I thought I outran that. Baby. Cool, we got all the parries we need. <laughs> Dodge roll for the win. Police officer for the lose. And that mead was in my way. I wasn't able to get past that. on you. I don't care about you making illegal moonshine. All I care about is the the Pillsbury dough that you're making for your cinnamon rolls. I need it. There we go. Now, I can't remember if I've only gotten two or three parries, but I can get an extra parry at the end.
I don't think it is knockout. There we go. Knockout! Woohoo! Now, if my calculations are correct, that should be an S rank. Yes, good. Okay, cool. I registered both of my super moves. Okay, that one was really fun, and also quite easy to S rank. That was definitely the easiest S rank thus far. Okay. And now, the final challenge the big kahuna. Alright. We are going to be using Miss Chalice, we are going to use a Charger, and we are going to use the Chaser. Alright, folks, here we go. Chef Salt Baker in a dish to die for. Expert mode. Oh no. This is gonna be a toughie. <laughs> this is gonna be the toughest one by far, I think. Wait till. If you thought he was hard before. Like I said, they basically are like, how much stuff can we put on screen all at once? Actually, no, not Charger. Not Charger. Charger's not good against the Animal Crackers. We're going to use Roundabout instead. Oh, the stupid fire. <laughs> You're predicting it'll take two hours to rank? That's honestly not an unreasonable estimate. Alright, if I get hit by a lime in the first second, I'm resetting. However, I am playing as Miss Chalice this time, who has an extra HP point, and should hopefully be a lot better for the fight. Oh, darn it. The flame was in the worst possible place. Actually, with Miss Chalice, this first phase is nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is also my favorite looking fight. Part of what makes this fight so hard is, like, the animations are so beautiful, I want to look at the background rather than pay attention to the foreground. Rats. Also, his first phase is by far the hardest. I don't know how I got for that unscathed. You can also duck under some of the limes, which is really nice to know. Wow, second phase already, cool. There are two flames in this phase now, though.
Rats. Wasn't paying attention to the fire. Okay, this is actually very doable. Having cake? Hey, oh. <laughs> oh, are you having a tart? <laughs> uh oh. Wouldn't let me double jump there. Yikes! The limes are by far the most annoying. And of course, he starts with the limes. The sugar cubes can be dangerous as well, but at least those are where we mainly get our parries. Strawberry, or the gnome berries are probably the easiest. Or the animal crackers, provided you're using a weapon that can destroy them easily. And not, say, the lobber. Full HP in phase two? This is a good start. I think the key for this phase, we need to keep an eye on the fire. Oh, I was close, though. This is actually not as hard as I was like, anticipating. This is actually very fun. With Miss Chalice. <laughs> With Cuphead, this first phase is ludicrous. Also, the fire is on the ceiling. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when we fought on normal mode, when there was only one flame, wasn't it on the floor? Or, like, it alternated between the ceiling and the floor? Because I remember it being on the floor, and it was super annoying. But, like, I'd much rather have two flames on the ceiling than one flame on the floor. Whoops. I almost forgot he could do the Animal Cracker move. It's been so long since he's done it. Cool. I actually don't want a bunch of... Uh, super cards for this phase, because we can't really use super cards for this phase. It doesn't really speed the phase up at all. <sighs> that was risky, but it paid off. Alright! Phase free! This is good. This is really good. Oh, shoot! I should not have jumped. I should have turned around and rolled. Oh, 
I'll, I'll have to go back to my older stream footage. Because I swear the fire in the first phase was on the floor. Like it is in the second phase. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure most of the delicious last course was balanced for Miss Chalice and not necessarily for Cuphead and Mugman. Because, yeah, this first phase for Saltbaker is actually pretty fun and fair with Chalice, but it's very much not so for Cuphead and Mugman. <laughs> with their one jump. Oh no, the lime always comes back. Yikes. Alright, thus far I'm thoroughly enjoying this fight. Like, it's funny, the latter free fights I really enjoyed, and the first free fights I kinda hated for S ranks. Although I bet I bet Glumstone and Mortimer Freeze are gonna be those fights where like once I get the hang of it, it won't be as bad. I think the how the flying or the howling aces are gonna be the super annoying one for any S rank run. Darn it. It's weird that these the big boomerang EX shots keep missing. I think the problem is, when he's doing the animations, his hitbox is not always where you think it should be. Okay. Darn you, animal crackers! Get out of Shirley Temple soup. Yikes! Look at all this! <laughs> this fight would be borderline impossible if you weren't using Chalice. I say borderline, because I've seen somebody do this expert mode no damage with just the Lobber. Which, for those of you who don't know, Lobber is, like, the worst weapon in the game, especially for this fight. Ouch. That's weird. I swear the fire was getting in the way a lot more in the... Die, Salt Baker. Oh, come on! I hate it how often you get hit. It's the instant that that move ends. Oh, you stupid limes. Stop cutting up the limes. You have other moves too, you know. Oh my gosh, he starts the move with limes. Oh hey, oh my gosh, I just realized that because we're Miss Chalice, now Cuphead's soul is the one trapped in the background. What the heck? 
Darn you stupid limes! He uses the lime move way more than any other move. Like, I feel like the gnome berries and the dough, he does not use nearly as often. Like, he spams limes and the sugar cubes, and it's like, oh, I, I guess I have the dough and the gnome berries. Also, I didn't point this out in uh, my initial blind run of him because a lot was happening, but uh, all of the moves he's using are the are using the different ingredients you gathered from the bosses. So, like, the limes are what you get for beating Esther Winchester. Gnome berries you get for beating Glumstone. The dough you get for beating the uh, Moonshine Mob. The sugar cube you get for beating Mortimer Freeze. And then the flying dogs give you the mint, which he uses in the second phase. Which is really cool. I love... I love that. But also, I freaking hate the lime move so much. Okay, how is the roundabout not destroying the animal crackers in one hit? They're freaking animal crackers. They're not even frosted animal crackers. They're just regular old boring crackers. Darn you freaking what It's always the freaking limes. It's always the freaking limes. <laughs> okay, when when the limes are going on, you cannot be on one of the sides of the screen. You just you cannot because they can just appear and hit you out of nowhere. Thank you, dodge roll. It's Lime O'Clock! Oh great, the Lime Slices look about- look like the bullets that I'm shooting. Oh, the stupid fire was right in the way. The lime attack is also the most brutal. <laughs> he literally bisects them all. Also, I feel like I'm getting worse at this fight rather than better. I have not gotten back to his second phase in a while. And I got to his second phase almost immediately after starting the fight. Yep. Okay, look at, like, sometimes there's nowhere safe to go. Sometimes there's just nowhere you can go, and you're surrounded on every side. And you can't even dodge roll, because there's more stuff on the other side. My giant boomerangs are just phasing through his head. His hitbox must be in a different place than his animation is. I need to dodge roll more. Oh, 
Or maybe just get less greedy with hitting him. Like, it's okay to spend some time not attacking his face. Especially since this might be one of those fights where there's a longer time limit than usual. Most bosses, it's 2 minutes 10 seconds. But I'm pretty sure the final bosses are generally a little more generous with the time. Especially King Dice. Because I'm not sure if it's physically possible to beat King Dice within 2 minutes 10 seconds. I was about to say, like, he surely must almost be in his second phase, right? There we go. His smile is so creepy, but I love it. A good creepy smile goes a long way. Especially if you're trying to be the final boss. The final boss in a very hard video game. Stupid fire. And stupid limes, of course. If you're an evil villain, you should have a very creepy smile. That's what I imagine. Same like with having an evil laugh. Evil laughs are great. Where the heck did that lime come from? I swear that lime just materialized out of nowhere, but probably what happened is it was right on top of one of my boomerangs, since they move they are roughly the same size and the same color. Like right there. I swear that lime was not there until it actually hit me. Thank you, Dodgeroll. Oh, shoot. I can't believe that I jumped through those. Oh, shoot. Got hit by the leaf. <laughs> That's fine. I'm having fun.
It's like, I can't help but notice I don't have any limes on the screen. I need to fix this immediately. Kind of surprised the game didn't start lagging there, as I believe there was like 50 projectiles moving all at the same time. All right. I'm going to replace my super move with something I think that will be better. Yes. I believe this will be better. A great Well, got hit anyways. Actually, maybe I should replace it with super move number two. Actually, that might be the way to go. Actually, yeah, super move two would probably be the way to go. Drop my double jump. Okay, yeah. Super art number two, no. That's that's the way to go. Super art number two is going to be very useful. Why does he start with limes like 90% of the time? He either starts with limes or sugar cubes. Or both! Here we go. Thank you for giving me an extra hit point. No, no, give me that. No. Oof. Necessarily risky. Give me another hit point, please. Okay, cool. Yes! And I can pop this again next time I get hit. Oh, the, mu the music didn't change. This is not supposed to be the music that's happening right now. Okay, yes. Final phase. And we got the chaser. This is a weird music glitch. Yeah! -ha! That's so weird we didn't get the music for the final phase. It stayed in the second phase music, but alright. Two minutes, 22 seconds. Yep. Yep. Yep! Ladies and gentlemen, that's 300%. Golly, a perfect score! <laughs> Take that salt, man. Cuphead! Cuphead? Oh no! <laughs> 
Thank goodness you're okay. <laughs> wait, wait, was he kidnapped? I, I didn't even notice. <laughs> that dastardly salt baker, he had us hoodwinked the whole time. Gad Zooks! <laughs> we better get out. Don't know how Salt Baker's still alive after all that. No, not my bakery. Oh. <laughs> Is it? Was that the last achievement? Oh, nice. Good luck with Thousand Year Door. It's very, very great. You don't get an S rank for beating the Angel and Devil boss. No, you do not. Cause guess what? I can't fight the Angel and Devil again. And when I fought them the first time, there's no option for even uh what difficulty you want to play on, and I did not get a rank at the end of it. So yeah, the Angel and Devil are kind of like a super secret. Oh, also, uh, visual. Do I have... Oh! Hang on, I technically don't have everything. We're up to the point where... Ooh, yeah, the baby Yoshi. He's a great party member. I technically actually don't have everything in this folder. There's one... I, I do not have the golden chalice uh, filter. Which requires you to beat every boss playing as Miss Chalice. So let's, let's start doing that. But... I'm actually very good at these fights, and we can do them on regular mode, so... I don't know how long we're going to fight, but I'm at least confident that we can do well against these bosses. Whoops. That was dumb. That was very dumb. We don't need to S-rank them or anything like that. We just need to beat them. Oh my... <laughs> we didn't even see their second phase! We literally skipped right to their final phase. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was very good, Miss Chalice. Very, very good. <laughs> and by very good, I mean you got, like, an A-. minus. That's okay. These fights should be a lot faster. <laughs> Hi, Motato. Oh, shoot. I'm used to the expert mode. Where the shots are faster. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are not supposed to fight the root pack with this stuff. <laughs> Oh my gosh. With the double jump, you can hit him with every single shot of the EX. Goodbye. <laughs> no! Yeah, these bosses are a lot easier than the ones on the DLC island. Oh shoot, this... This means I have to beat the Howling Aces again, though. Because I never actually beat them with Miss Chalice. Nor did I beat Esther Winchester. Well, we'll save that for maybe later. Hi, Goopy. I can't believe I used to actually struggle against you.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Goopy! <laughs> well, I'll tell you why, because this is one of the first fights you do in Cuphead while you're still learning all the controls and stuff. Whereas, at this point, I've beaten him, like, a hundred times. <laughs> you! <laughs> you're the worst. <laughs> Oh man, I'm not even used to seeing this phase anymore. I'm used to playing this on expert mode, where you don't even see the Taurus phase. Sagittarius or Gemini? Gemini, wonderful. might be able to skip the Sagittarius phase entirely. Yep, we skipped the Sagittarius phase entirely. Wonderful. There we go. Man, these fights are a lot easier when you've done them a whole bunch of times, <laughs> and you don't have to S-rank them. Golly, nice job, Miss Chalice! It's time for Flowey, I mean Cagney Carnation. I'm happy to see you too, man. All right, we skipped the second phase entirely. Oh yeah, ha 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 ha! <laughs> Chalice. Actually, wait a second. Hang on. I can't remember if you have to beat every boss as Miss Chalice or just the DLC bosses. So, hang on. I actually should go back and fight the DLC bosses. Because it might be you just need to beat the DLC bosses, so. Isle 4. So we beat Glumstone and Mortimer. And Bootlegger Boogie. Okay, so it's the Flying Aces and Esther Winchester. Wonderful. At least we can play on normal mode. Or regular mode, I'm sorry. Good day for a now go. Oh man, this is a lot more relaxed on regular mode. A lot more relaxed.
Oh, yeah. Um, how did I get 8 HP? How did I get 8 HP? Guys, did I start the fight with 8 HP? Well, I mean, I'll take it. Pfft. It helped me beat Esther really quickly. <laughs> nice job, Miss Chalice. Let's hope that carries over to the Flying Aces fight, because that would be amazing. Also... Oh, you didn't beat the angel and the devil with Miss Chalice, so did Dog got it, but I can't beat them again. <laughs> I only have four HP here. Dog on it, could I have gotten that Could I have gotten the HP bonus for this fight instead of Esther Winchester? Darn it. I said I never wanted to do the Flying Aces again. I never said I would be unwilling. Actually, maybe I, maybe I actually said I'm never doing that fight again. <laughs> I think it was just the delirious of, <laughs> delirious of being so happy of finally beating the dumb fight. This is the dumbest fight in the game. Okay, the relative controls make that fight a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, control scheme B is the way to go. Still a nightmare to S rank, but at least now a bit less so. Alright, alright, I beat all the at DLC bosses as Miss Chalice. Can I get my reward? Wow! That ghost of gal bopped all those baddies, but good! Seeing all them good deeds gives me a whole new perspective on things. Look for a wallop in every boss with Miss Chalice. I've made her a spiffy new look. Find it in the options menu. Yes. Here we go. 
Now we can have black and white or the Mist Chalice filter. What does the Mist Chalice filter do? Well, if we say go to Bootlegger Boogie, she's gonna look a lot. <laughs> I'm shiny! <laughs> And I think this is the only thing that it does. And here comes the anteater. Uh oh, I don't like having all of these guys on screen at once. I don't think it is. There we go. Alright, I'm definitely getting better at the DLC bosses, which is great. And I have officially gotten everything in Cuphead. In this folder, I have all the filters, I have all the S ranks, I have all the P ranks, all the coins, all the moves, I have the Divine Relic, and I have all the achievements. So I guess I'm officially a Cuphead Master now? <laughs> Excellent. Well, that was fun. I mean, some of those fights are not that fun to S rank, but I think if I, I think if I practice them, I can get a lot better at them. You know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. I do too. And hey, we actually finished in pretty good time. Wow, that was like a little more than four hours for the stream, and a quarter of that was spent on Glumstone. That does not feel right. A quarter of the stream was spent on Glumstone? That seems very, very strange and not right. I swear I spent more time on base on pretty much every boss who was not named the Bootlegger Boogie or the Moonshine Mob than that, but alright. Guess I need to practice that one. But at least now I have some viable strategies to go in on, and I have that little tip for the Flying Aces fight, so that's fantastic. Alright. Well, I can promise you I will be streaming Cuphead again in the future. Not right away, but once I'm com once I'm comfortable doing another speedrun of Cuphead, I would love to do that. I think I've only gotten two or three speedruns on this, so... Maybe I would do any percent. Maybe I would do free 200% or 300%. It all depends on how things go. In the meantime, this week, starting on Labor Day, Backyard Baseball! It's coming back, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. Because if you're square, you don't get any say in who goes on my team. So, it's important to note that. As for my next weekend series, I guess, I'll, because you guys are here, I'll let you in on a little scoop. I got big plans for October. I won't spoil it, but let's just say I've got big plans for October for uh, not only Let's Playing, but also streaming. Now... Backyard Baseball streams will be happening all throughout October, but my weekend streams? I got some stuff planned. I might actually be playing some spooky games. In which case, I may end up continuing to stream on the weekends at the usual time, or I might change the time so it happens at night so people get scared a little more. I don't know. It's going to be some different streams, but they're going to be really fun, I promise, and I'm really excited for it. But because I've got plans for October, this means that like I need to finish my September stuff before then. Now, Let's Play-wise, that won't be a problem. I've already lined it up. Streaming-wise, though, this means my next weekend stream series has to be short enough that I can finish it within the month of September. So I don't know for sure what that's going to be yet. But regardless of what it is, I will make sure that it fits in that time period. And if it's really short, then maybe we'll just do a bunch of randomizers uh, <laughs> throughout September. I don't know, but I will keep you guys posted. So, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. This was very enjoyable. Like, it's weird because... Oh. 
It's weird because, like, the first half of this was kind of a pain in the butt, but the second half was f really fun. It's actually very fun. Which is... I'm gl That's good. I'm, I'm glad that there are bosses in here that are really fun to S-rank, so... It's gonna be some good times. Alright. I'm gonna dip out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... I'm not doing tactics advance. Obviously. <laughs> I'm not even gonna start that until at the very earliest next year. If that happens at all, anyway. Anyways. Maybe, maybe... Ooh! Ooh! Maybe I'll play Jungle Beat. Jungle Beat could be fun. Well, I don't know. Jungle Beat is so much of that is like... It's hard to record that because you make so much noise playing the game with the pounding of the bongos. I don't know. I'll, I'll think of something and I'll let you guys know. Or maybe I won't and I'll, it'll be a surprise. But regardless, it's going to be a good time. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend and God bless everyone.